Hey guys, it's Leslie and today I wanted to share with you my TBR for the In Love-a-thon. That is coming up February 9th through the 15th and it starts at midnight on whatever time zone you're in and then ends on midnight whatever time zone you're in. I wasn't going to do this readathon just because I just did one for January and they can be slightly intense, but I've been in a romance mood lately, so I guess I may as well. This readathon is much less involved than the biannual bibliothon, so this one is just reading challenges. They give you 10 prompts and you can pick seven of those and you can double up or triple up, however you want to do it. So it's really more fun and I think it's just encouraging you to read some contemporaries. I will put all of the hosts information and their channels in the description bar below. I cannot remember all of their names right now or channel names but they'll be in the description. I will run through each of the challenges and then which book I've decided to read for that particular challenge. The first challenge is favorite romance author. Read something by your favorite romance author and I don't really have a favorite romance author it's mainly romance is not a genre I typically read I mean most books have some element of romance in them but I don't ever specifically read a romance book so I'm just gonna pick one of somebody that I know writes romance and that I have read before and I've enjoyed and that is Sophie Kinsella I'm going to read I've got your number this is a book about a girl who is engaged and I believe loses her phone and basically takes someone else's phone and hijinks ensue. Sophie Kinsella is a pretty funny writer so I think this one will be at least silly. The second challenge is read a book with your favorite romantic trope. And again, this is something I'm not sure I have. I mean, I know there's love triangles or hate to love or insta love. But I don't know if I have one that I really enjoy more than others. So for this one, I'm not explicitly doing this as a challenge I'm going to skip. If a trope happens to be in one of the books that I pick up, then cool. But if not, I'm not like seeking out anything that has a specific trope in it. The third challenge is read a book featuring a prince or princess. And for this, I'm actually going to read The One by Kira Kass. This is the third book in the selection uh, series. I've read, I read the first one last year maybe, and I just listened to the second one on audio, which I don't know if I recommend. I mean, the book is fine, but the audio narrator, whoo, she is melodramatic. I know America Singer is not the world's most popular protagonist, but that girl's voice is whiny. So there's that. But I've already read the first two. They're super easy, really cheesy, and I actually like the Bachelor slash Bachelorette TV shows. So I'm just gonna finish up that series. The sports challenge is read an original fairy tale and then watch the accompanying Disney movie of this. Well, if you watched my previous video, you know how much I love Disney, so I'm all about this challenge. I actually picked up a Grimm's Fairy Tales from the library, and there's plenty of them in there. There's like Snow White, there's Cinderella, Rapunzel, um, I think the Frog Prince is in here too, so I have a plenty to choose from. Obviously, these are super short, and I'm not going to read this whole book. It's, you know, so it's a chunker. So I'm just going to read maybe a couple of them and see which movie feels right for me. I will say that I adore, adore the Cinderella live action remake. I know that one doesn't get as much love as the Beauty and the Beast, but I'm obsessed with Lily James. I just think she is, I don't know. I love her acting. I've seen her in a couple of things and I'm just super big fan. So the Cinderella live action may be what I pick. The next two challenges on the list are, are definitely like double up kind of challenges. So the fifth challenge is read a book while enjoying any Valentine's Day treat. So this could be chocolate or candy, or if you have a really special person in your life that sends you edible arrangements, which I'm obsessed with too, you can eat that or just wine or whatever, whatever you like on Valentine's Day. If it's cheeseburger, you do you boo. The sixth challenge is read 
a book that features a location you would enjoy spending Valentine's Day. So for this, I think you could pick anything you wanted, anywhere you want to spend Valentine's Day. The Sophie Kinsella books, those are all, I'm pretty sure, set in London or England anyway, and I would love to go to England, so that one works for me. The seventh challenge is read a book with red or pink on the cover, and I have this one on hold at the library, but it's called The Girl in 6E. I'm actually stealing this from Ginny Reedsley, so hey girl. And... I have heard about this one for a while. I think it's kind of a uh, sexier type book and it includes maybe murder and a girl who, what do you call them, a cam girl? A girl who, you know, performs things on webcams. So, you know, there's a lot in there, but could be kind of interesting. We will see. The ninth challenge is read a classic love story. And for this, I am choosing the ever classic Lolita. This is a little bit of a taboo story about an older man and a younger, much, much, much younger underage girl. And it's by a Russian author. So, I mean, I'm assuming it takes place in Russia, which, you know, I wouldn't hate going to Russia at some point. I would love to go to St. Petersburg or Moscow. So, you know, there's that. I'm going to try this for the classic love story. And I also want to read a classic each month. And this one would work quite nicely. The last challenge is read a book by one of the hosts or one of the host's favorite books or contemporaries. And I have a couple on hold at the library, so we will see which one comes in and which one sounds the best. The one I'm most optimistic about is called Hunted by Megan Spooner. And this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So that one sounds kind of interesting. That is my TBR for this In love -a -thon. I am definitely being over ambitious because like the last readathon I did, the books that I chose were quite small, or at least a couple of them were, so those were easy to get through. Um, the books that, th these are like, you know, good full-size 300 page books, which even on my, a really good day, I'm not sure I'll be able to read a 300 page book each day. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, my life is real boring, so <laughs> I got a lot of time to read. If you are interested in the In love -a you definitely have time to still join us, even if you only want to do one or even if you want to read whatever the heck you want while eating cheeseburgers. I think that totally fits. So we will see how that goes in, after the 15th. I will get back to you, see how that worked out. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.